I want to ask you this 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 question uh, because apparently there is this notion, especially with these uh, neoliberal, uh, I call them Colombo liberals because apparently you know most of them are living unfortunately in Colombo, uh, and for them they are very vocal on social media. It was the previous president and the previous government from 2019 onwards is where they pretty much screwed our country's economy. Uh, they, they dropped the ball. The, these are the individuals that we need to ho uh, hold accountable. What do you say for that? Because my understanding and what the conversation we've been having is uh, it, it's something that we've been doing since the 70s wrong one single wrong mistake to the next to the next to the next and here we are at the tail end of uh, our entire uh, lineup of mistakes uh, what do you think about from 2019 onwards is where everything crashed utterly misconceived notion our crisis started in 1977 with the wrong economic policies getting started to implement getting aggravated because of wrong economic decisions that we made through borrowings and then living day by day by day and then wrong projects which were not giving enough returns and not earning enough dollars not spending into the real economy not spending into export earning industries or import substitution industries by way of either saving dollars or earning dollars. Now, failure to do these kind of things accumulated gradually our debt. If you look at our uh, reserve position, now this is our reserve position. Now, you will see, though the people say that it is after 2019 this drop is, there have been previous drops also. So if anyone says that the crisis was only after 2019, which is not really correct, what happened between 2015 and 16? this drop? And in fact, by 2015... That's the IMF program. But the, the 2015, you had more reserves than your uh, ISB, total ISB thing. But by, by uh, 2019, when the, uh, when the changeover took place, we had more ISBs than the reserves. Uh, the, the, reserves. So the ISBs, you think that was a stupid mistake? It, it's the worst mistake that you did because project loans, I told you the project loans, they're also bad loans. They're also uh, you know, bilaterally negotiated, not competitively bidded and highly es price escalated loans. But still for all, you have some product, something to be seen on the ground. ISBs are what? Just consumption loans, just borrowing atamaru in Singhala, we, we, we say. And you just go and uh, get something for your today's living. Now, what happened was, what did you, you see, spend that on? Bridging the day-to-day the, the, the -day requirements of imports and exports and debt settlements. Now, look at this picture. Now, this picture shows the first ISB was in 2007 and then 2009, 500 million uh, dollars of uh, these loans. Of course, you may uh, probably give an excuse because that was during the kind of insurgency, the war conditions where you need to have some kind of emergency things. I don't know. I, 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 I am unable to uh, substantiate why. This is the start of this bad practice. But then thereafter, you see, increasingly, you needed mm. more and more and more uh, uh, pillars of you know, propping up. 